friends welcome to quick learn tutorial series in this video i will explain you interfacing of 8087 with 8086 microprocessor so before i discuss the interfacing here i give a brief introduction of 8087 coprocessor in my previous video i have already explained about 8087 introduction its features its pin diagram or internal architecture so for all these topic please visit my previous video and the link of that video i will given in my description box so let's start with the introduction of 8087 coprocessor 8087 was the first math coprocessor designed by intel to pair with 8086 or 8088 microprocessor for easier and faster calculation the purpose of 8087 math coprocessor is to speed up the computation involvement floating point calculations 8087 math coprocessor is available in 40 pin ic 8087 math coprocessor is also known as ndp that is numeric data processor NPX numeric processor extension and FPU it means floating point unit now some features of 8087 coprocessor 8087 math coprocessor increase the overall speed and system performance addition subtraction multiplication and division of simple number is not the coprocessor job 8087 math coprocessor perform calculation involving floating point number like scientific calculation algebraic function and some complex calculations by having a coprocessor which perform all the calculation the cpu of main processor save its lots of time so the cpu focus all its resources and time to perform other functions this can enhance the system performance now interfacing of 8087 with 8086 microprocessor this is the diagram of interconnection of 8087 with 8086 or 8088 microprocessor here we see number of ic's are connected the main ic or the main processor is 8086 or 8088 8086 here is the host processor or also called the main processor 8087 is basically a coprocessor as i have already told 8087 is a math coprocessor designed to pair with 8086 or 8088 microprocessor for speed up the system performance enhance the system performance or for faster or easier calculation so 8087 is the math coprocessor now first we know about what is the responsibilities what is the function of coprocessor coprocessor is basically design circuit on microprocessor chip which can perform the same task very quickly which the microprocessor perform the main advantage of coprocessor is to reduce the workload of the main processor coprocessor share same memory bus input output system control and clock generators coprocessor handle specialized task like mathematical calculation graphical display on screen etc all this task is performed by 8087 math coprocessor to enhance the speed or system performance of 8086 or 8088 main processor so apart from these two ic number of ic are connected in here first is 8284 8284 is basically a clock generator that provide clock signal reset signal ready signal to both 8086 or 8087 next ic is 8259 8259 is programmable interrupt controller this ic is also connect to both the 8086 microprocessor and 8087 coprocessor to provide interrupt signal here we see 8259 take interrupt input signal from 8087 coprocessor and provide output to 8086 microprocessor 
Next IC is 8288 that is bus controller. The function of 8288 is to generate control signal at its output. So 8288 takes some input with the help of a status line of 8086 that is S0, S1, S2. These are directly connected from 8086 to 8288. These input taken by 8288 and generate control signal available at the control bus. Now next I see is bus interface component. Bus interface component as we know 8086 having 20 address line or 16 bit data line. These 20 address line are multiplexed with 16 bit data line and the status signals. So the lower order address line A0 to A15 multiplexed with D0 data line to D15 data line. Here we see AD0, AD15. It means address line are multiplexed with data line. And the higher order address line, it means A16 to A19. These higher order address line are multiplexed with status line S3, S4, S5, S6. So the bus interface component separate the address and data line and IC8286 which are going to latch the data from the address line. This is called multi-master local buses and this is called multi-master system bus. Now, when we connect 8087 with 8086, we know that 8086 work in two modes, minimum mode and maximum mode. So, when 8086 work in minimum mode or when 8086 work in maximum mode, this is indicated by a pin that is called minimum or maximum pin. If this pin is high, the 8086 is working in minimum mode. If this pin is low, 8086 work in maximum mode. So when we connect 8087 coprocessor with 8086, that time 8086 is operate in maximum mode. It means that pin, minimum or maximum pin is at logic low level. Some other signals of pin are also interconnected. Just like here we see the ad multiplexed address or data line are directly connected from 8086 to 8087. Some status lines or some QE status line that is QS0 or QS1 is directly connected from 8086 to 8087. Some request grant signal that is RQ oblique GTO signal is connected from 8087 or 8086. Here the busy signal of 8087 is directly connected to the test input signal of 8086 microprocessor. So these are the interconnection of 8086 with 8087 math coprocessor. Now here I explain how instruction get executed when 8086 connect with 8087. We know that when user write a program, program store in memory and we know that when 8087 connect with 8086, 8087 math coprocessor share all the system bus, all the input output system, memory, clock signal of 8086. So the memory where user written program is stored is also shared by 8086 and 8087. That program is known as homogeneous program because it is written for both 8086 and 8087. Now 8086 and 8087 fetch those instructions and store in the instruction queue. We know that 8087 instructions are the escape instruction. It means the instruction having a prefix F or in binary form 11011, that instruction is 8087 instruction, also known as escape instruction. So, if 8086 fetch instruction and, and get to know this is a 8087 instruction or it is a escape instruction, so 8086 treated that instruction as a NOP instruction. No operation will be performed instruction and immediately move into the next instruction. Meanwhile, 8086 also fetch that instruction if that is escape instruction or started from 
8087 know that it is a my instruction it means it is a escape instruction and 8087 execute that instruction if instruction required a memory operand then 8086 will have to fetch the first word of the operand as 8087 cannot calculate the physical address so this is the way a instruction is executed when 8086 is connected with 8087 core processor.